Welcome back to Tom's Garage again, boys and girls. Whew, what's a cold day today? After it being almost 70, it's a little whoopily out there. A little whoopily here. But today, a little something different. I know y'all are probably getting tired of looking at Toro mowers. <laughs> what could it be? Oh, Husqvarna 455 Rancher. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna save this one from the heap. I can already tell it's been sitting for a long time without being used. And I see the little primer bulb right there, the little purge bulbs all broken. Well, we're gonna see if this thing's any good. See if we'll get it running. Yeah, yeah. Y'all hang with, man. We're going to go through this thing and see if we can diagnose it and see if we can make a good chainsaw out of it. Y'all hang loose. All right. First thing I'm going to do is get this bar and chain off of it. I don't like trying to work on a chainsaw with a bar and chain. But... God, they don't need to be that tight. Yeah, first thing I'm going to do is get this bar and chain off air. We're going to make sure on these Husker burners the chain break ain't on. Because if you pull this cover off and that chain break is on, ooh, you're going to play the devil getting that back on, boy. leave a little more room. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, that bar needs to be dressed. I bet it wasn't cutting good at all. Wasn't cutting good at all. That chain is dull. Chain is dull. All right, now we can get to the muffler. First thing I'm gonna do is pull that muffler off. And look at the cylinder, because if that cylinder is all scratched up, you have just saved yourself a whole lot of time. I always do this first. I've already got that one loose. All right. There's a sparky rester. Oh God, yep, I use my steel tool to work on a husky. Here, grab a flashlight. Get this heat shield and gasket off of there. Oh, right, let's take a gander. Let's take a gander at the piston. I don't know how well you can see that piston. Piece of two by four to set it up on. Yep. Okay, we'll turn the, pull the string, and now we'll look back. It actually looks pretty good back here on the intake side. But I'm gonna pull the spark plug out and look at the exhaust side of the cylinder. But the piston don't look all scratchy. Well, by God, we might have us a good saw. Might have us a good saw. Okay, I'm going to pull this cover off. Pull the spark plug out. And see if I can get down in yonder and peek. These screws in this cover feel loose like somebody's already had it off. 
Somebody's already been moonkin with it. Okay. Where's the cover? It don't look all dirty all over the carburetor, which is good. It don't look like it's had a whole lot of use. Let spark plug out. I'm gonna raise the camera so I can look down a little easier on it. Here we go. Here we go. Usually if you pull a spark plug out and it's all gray, that means you got some metal transfer. But that spark plug looks like it's brand new. Champion. I'm gonna put a NGK back here. Let's uh water down this real quickly. I'm gonna check for spurk. Check for spurkage. I know y'all probably ain't gonna be able to see this, but Yeah, we got spark. Go ahead and eliminate that possibility. Now we'll get the flashlight. I gotta get me one of them bore scope things for my cell phone. I know a lot of people have them. Let's see, let me get that piston all the way to the bottom. That's down yonder. Take a little peek down yonder. That cylinder looks good. That's a good looking cylinder. I'd say so. Okay, first time I gotta do is fix this primer bulb and I'm gonna check the fuel line and see if they're, see if perhaps they're bad, but they don't look bad. They're intact. Everything is intact. They sure are a hard dough. They're hard as a rock. I'm not going to replace them just yet unless I break one, but I got to replace this bulb. So that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do first. Well, first I'm going to drain that fuel. See what that tells us. Check the fuel line inside the fuel tank. See if the fuel line broke. Fuel filter might have fallen off. <clears throat> well, where is the fuel filter? That thing's completely dry. That tells me it's been sitting for a long time. You see where the fuel line comes in? And it goes right back up to the top. Strange. Got my little pokey tool here. I'll get in there and grab that fuel line. Yep. It's broke. It's broke off. That's supposed to be the supposed to be what holds the fuel filter. It's just broke off. Hmm. Well, that tells us a whole lot. But where is the fuel filter? So not even in there. Somebody may have already emptied it out. Because the return line is back here in the corner. And then, that well, the old camera decided to quit. Appreciate that. There. And we got two more screws down here. Just get this out of the way. I think they started with the carburetor and just built a whole saw around it.
good that one. And now we gotta get that out of the way. Get that out of the way. Let's see, we're gonna have to disconnect that choke. Now that should come off with it. I believe. I believe, I believe. to the carburetor. Ooh, I got my back hurting. Let's see, we'll unplug this gas line. Unplug the return. Okay. Poke that down in the motor. Get this gas line off and you know it's gonna break. it off. I'm gonna check that diaphragm too before I put that back on. But what I want to do is get this fuel line off. Let's see, we'll get this one off here. Pull that one off there. And the, the longer one, and then you got a shorter one. The longer one was on top. Like that. And that's all there is. Let's go see if we got another one over here. I know we do. That's one we need, same diameter. So we'll snap it back in place. Well, before I do that, I'm gonna pull this fuel line out. Pull it out. Yeah, you can see where it broke, right under. Hmm. All right, let me hit pause. I gotta go. I gotta go load up some parts here. Okay. Let's see. This was actually the return line. I was thinking it was the 
pickup line, but it's not. Let's see, that thing just broke on me. So it's going to go in this hole through this grommet, and that's just a return. Gotta squeeze that in there. Where's my needle nose? I'd like for it to go in about a good half inch, that's good. This is gonna go under there, under all of that, and up, and that's gonna be to the, that's gonna be to the tall port. I'm about to trim some off. Okay, and this is the actual fewer line. I'm gonna have to feed it through there and out so I can put the filter on it. Okay, now I gotta take my real long needle nose and catch it and put. I don't have my flashlight on. Reach right down yonder. Grab and pull. No crud on your fingers when you handle that new fuel filter. Everything's cold, it's hard to get on there. If it was hot in here, it'd be a lot easier. This would be softer. Make sure the line goes all the way on. And this is a weighted fuel filter, so it stays on the bottom. However, you turn the chainsaw, the filter will always fall to where the fuel is. Bring it back out. Right about there. Just like that. Let me pull it back out a little bit. Because this is the deepest part of the fuel tank and I want it sitting right in there. good let's see this one is going to that port there so we'll have to trim that off a lot this one goes around to that and then from the short port it goes there to there <laughs> Let me check this diaphragm real quick before I decide to go any farther. And I want to see the state of the carburetor. That is awful crinkly. That is an awful crinkly diaphragm. Oh yeah, we'll have to clean it. It's got some little gunk right there. Yeah, we'll slap a new diaphragm in it. I'm gonna wait till the last to, well, no, I'll do it now. Grab us a new diaphragm. Make sure you get the right ones because some of them have a real short piece right there. And some of them are long like this one. So 
So we'll put this diaphragm in there. I'm gonna pull this off too. Check the needle and seat in the fuel pump. Well, the needle and seat's right there, but I wanna see the fuel filter, the little screen. Fuel pump looks pretty good. The screen looks clean. Everything looks good. I'm not about to pull that needle and seat out because I don't feel like fighting with it. But what I want to do is make sure it's... I believe that needle might be stuck. Kind of hard to see. No, it's working good. Okay. I'll just take my little scraper here and get rid of this little debris or whatever is in it. Blow that out for the buff air. Hit it with a little carb tuner. Another puff of air. Ooh, sounds like the police are after somebody out there. Put your new diaphragm on. There you go. Cover back on it. And in and in and in and in and Debris on my finger. <laughs> well, I tell you, it's cold out here. I had two cups of coffee and I didn't even have breakfast. That's why my darn hands are shaking like they are. I gotta quit drinking as much coffee in the mornings. I put sugar in it too this morning. I hardly ever do that anymore. Nope. Get the other two started. It's kind of hard to get to with that piece on there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Snug. Don't get them too tight because this is very fine thread aluminum. And before I put it back together, get rid of that. Before I put it back together, I'm going to test it. I'm going to test it. I don't believe she's sealed. I've got a smaller, smaller fuel line on there. Well. 
Piece of mind. I got this kit from Ziploc. They sell the gauges at the grocery store. Okay, let's wrestle this thing back together. Remember how it goes back together? The camera quit earlier while I was taking this thing apart, and y'all didn't get to see a whole lot. This is a clip. This is what holds. This is how you get the, thr the throttle off of there. You have to unclip that, put it in there, and clip it back. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to get the handle or nothing off. Let's see. I am going to cut this hose back a pretty good bit. It's gonna have to be cut probably right about there. Right about there. Where's my little cutters? There they are. Ooh, about got that finger. Get that meat out of the way. Make me fight you. There you go. Push that fuel line on as far as we can get it to go. That's pretty good. Very good. Get them wires up under there. I'm going to have to end up pulling some of that fuel line into the tank because I got a little too much on there. All right, in with the new purge bulb. Bulb. this into the yeah okay now this I don't think I'm going to trim that back any all right it looks to me like everybody's happy That on there, that on there. Whoo, boy, this is killing my back. Get some of this stuff off the table. Yeah, you didn't get to see me take none of this apart, so I'm gonna go back over and I'm gonna let y'all make fun of me while I fight to get this thing together. Make sure that pulse line is still good. It ain't broke anywhere. <clears throat> okay, let's see. That's going to have to go that way. Mm. These go in the little rubber grommets there and there. You can get one in that side. Take your little tool. Work it in this one. Don't let it whoop you. There we go. 
Here we go, now we got everything wedged. Okay. Get my hairy elbow out of your way. There we go. Now these two long bolts go in the bottom. That's what holds the carburetor to the intake manifold. Yep. What tools I use in this one. Oh, I forgot to get the, you gotta get the choke mechanism plugged back into that little thing right in there. Where's my screwdriver? It just pops in that lever. Just like that. Okay. Ooh, I gotta stand up for a minute. It's killing my back. Yeah, make sure that lines up with the carburetor and it's not wanting to. That's got to go way down. Make sure it all lines up. And it sure acting like it ain't wanting to. There we go. Now I gotta make sure the carburetor's lined up. What do you think? Go. Get this other one lined up and started. Raw. Not too awful crazy tight. These two go in here. Okay, where's that? Got me breathing hard. Now we gotta get the throttle lever. Let's see, this has gotta go back right there. And this has gotta go through there. Fish it around there. But I'm gonna leave it off for now because the handle's got to go on, pull this through and hook that back. So that's what we're going to wait on. Okay, let me look around here onto a table for parts, make sure everything was put back. Okay. So far so good. I believe the next step, putting it back together, is going to be putting this handle back on. Let's see here, where did this come? This fell out when I took the handle off, so now I gotta figure out how to use it. come out of the handle assembly, I had to. Somewhere in here, let's see, you got one mount here, you got that mount. Goes in here, and that's probably where it, nope, that's not where it come from. That one's in, that one's in. And I guarantee you, it probably come from right there. Yep. So it come from right there. 
That's where it goes right there. Let's see, make sure I'm right here. That one's there, that one's there. Yeah, because there's the other one. So these just sit and cradle it right in there. Okay. Okay, that one goes inside there like that. That one goes there like that. First, like I was telling you, this has got to go through here. Okay, there we go. I'm going to wait till I get the screws back in it to hook the throttle back up. Okay, we got one there. We got one here. And I don't believe it's gonna line up just yet. This one goes there, just like that. Oh boy. Whew. Now we'll hook the throttle cable up. Uh oh, it came out again. When I had it upside down, it came out. Come on, little throw. Get out of there. See, I got it wedged in there when it fell out. Perfect. Now this will go right in. That sits right in there like that. And then clip that back over. Okay, this is like that. This goes like that. I never forgot how that goes. That goes like that. Yeah, like that. That goes inside of there. That goes under that. That goes right there. If I can get it on my little nipple right there. There we go. See, that's why you got to push this down. So, there it 
Oop. That goes in there like that. Okay. Now we'll hook the kill wires back up. Right there on that little terminal. If I can get it to turn a little bit for me. Plug it in right there. Come on, baby. It's got a weird twist to it. I can't get a hold of it. There we go. There we go. And this will go. Let's see. so I can see it a little better. I need to get me a big magnifying glass. There it goes. It goes right in that little slot right there. Come on, baby. Go in your home. Uh-oh, battery just went dead in that one. it it's not I think I might have been a little bit I think I've been it just a little bit dead needs to go a little further in and maybe all the way yep I believe it's all the way in okay Woo! I'm gonna put this champion plug back in it because it's new Put some fear roll in it. Put the starter back on there. I don't know why I took it off, but I did. I'm glad I did. And the 455 Rancher's come with this compression release. That's pretty cool. Make sure these wires go back in there. I put my pinky out like that. Maybe I was royal in the past life.
All right, let's get some fuel. Get some fuel. Now I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh, go ahead. I can't forget to put the muffler back on before I fire it up. I don't want to bust my eardrums again. Okay, let's see if she primes or purges. There it goes. Okay. Now let's stick that muffler back on. Uh oh. Okay, make sure all the screws are through. And we'll start with this one up here, I reckon. Okay. Let's see, what else? I believe that's it. We can put all this other stuff together after we know she runs. Pull this back up here. See if she runs for us. Run for us. Okay, pressure release down. Purge, choke. See, this is designed when you choke it, it gives you a little bit of throttle. Another little purge. Make sure I don't have it turned off. Okay. Well, maybe it don't give you any throttle. I'm going to unchoke it. That's a workout right there. Bill, let me hit. Let me hit pause. I'm gonna do a little investigating. Y'all hang with. Failed attempt. Bow. That girl ain't got no compression. Pulling no fuel. Ominous, dominus. Nope, good. 
no good, no compression. Even though everything looked good, sometimes you just gotta go through the motions. Oh well, another one for the heap. Thank you for watching another Tom W video, boys and girls. And we will catch you guys on another one. Love y'all.